I don't know when you consider what Iowa State was expected to be this season. Yeah, what they lost in the injuries that they suffered in the in important positions. I don't know. I don't know if there's someone that's done a better job. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I think he's certainly. It's funny. So after uh, in the post game, Bill Self, uh, unsolicited, said he thought Jerome Tang and T.J. Atzelberger were the two leading candidates for coach of the year, national coach of the year right now, just not just big 12 national. It's hard to disagree with that. Right. I mean, those two guys, and generally when you're doing coach of the year, you're doing it on guys that overachieve, you know, we're not picking the guy that's, you know, pre Kelvin Sampson. It's a great example, right? Pick preseason top five by everybody that they are. They are number five. He's done a great job. We know that, but, but traditionally you're going to go with a guy that overachieves. Uh, those two guys certainly belong in that combo. Can I give you a few more guys? Uh, you want to give me a few? Well, here's the thing. I, the, I I wouldn't have either of those guys as my national coach of the year as of today. Mine would be Matt Painter. I, I don't know if I could have one today, but Matt Painter would have to be right in the conversation. Yeah, I mean, two freshman guards. A, a, a 7'4 kid who we knew was going to be good, but Zach Eady, we no, didn't know you were going to be this dominant. It's amazing. I was thinking about this the other day. We we put out a preseason publication called "The Year of the Big." Yeah. We made sure that we talked to Hunter Dickinson for it. We made sure we had to talk yeah. to Oscar Shibway for it. We made sure we got Armando Baycott on the record for it. We had a half dozen dudes that we made sure to get onto the cover. Zach Eady was an afterthought in all that. And here he is, fucking Shaq Eady. Right, it's Shaq Eady, baby. His 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 improvement to me, the thing that's been so impressive is one the way that that Painter can find a way to kind of hide him defensively and scheme ways to make him be so effective on the offensive end of the floor, right? But and two, he's two hundred ninety pounds and he can play forty minutes. Yes, if he has to. He's and in great shape. An unbelievable. Yeah, shape. he's in great shape. He is. He he said that to me earlier. He said, "I I work with the strength coach on." You know, not just, not just, you know, like like conditioning, but almost conditioning of like lateral movement, things like that. If you notice, he's definitely moving a lot better defensively. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He rebounds outside his area much better than a lot of bigs his size, right? A lot of those guys are just plotters who are going to put their hands up, and if it comes near him, they're going to get it. But but Zach Eady goes after it a little bit. Um, yeah, Painter's certainly in the combo. I'm going to give you a few more guys. Okay. Sean Miller. Yes. Xavier for sure has to be. I, I got a list of 10. All right, I got a list of 10 right here. Ed Cooley has to be in the mix. Ed Cooley has to be in the mix. Don't shake your head at me. Here's the problem. He's like third for me on the Big East Coach of the Year list. I would say he's second for me. Sean, Ed, Shaka Smart. Okay, right? I know you were pumping Chaka to me earlier, and I, I would agree. I mean, He's in the ten. Them, all of them. All of them. Okay. Job. All three of them. Two from the three. Yeah. Two from the Big uh, Twelve. Painter from the Big Ten. Nate Oates from the SEC has to be in there. And then Brad Brunell. I know Clemson lost today, but they came That's in the at one. seven and zero in the ACC. You got to have him. And then I'm going with two mid-major guys. I'm going with my neighbor. I'm going with my neighbor down there. Our city. At Kelsey at Charleston, you got to be in the mix. And I miss you, man. I miss you. We're com- I'm coming home soon. Don't you worry. And then Dusty May, FAU, yes. has to be in the mix. I-, I did a game of theirs a few years ago. And I'm like, I don't know how long Dusty can survive here. Right, FAU? You're in Boca. It's beautiful. Some great restaurants over there. But, like, you're going to be done at some point. You can't keep this thing going. He's flipped this thing. I mean, it was a garbage. I mean. I don't know. They've had multiple NBA guys that have failed there, right? Michael Curry, Sidney Green. Um, I can't remember who else they had, but he's he's in the top 25 right now. That's my 10 right now. That's my 10. Can I make an argument for Bill Self? Sure. National coach of the year list. He doesn't have a bench. He doesn't have a five man. He doesn't really have a point guard that's a scoring threat. His, uh, his two guard can't really shoot it. Yeah. His yeah. best shooter has nights like he did tonight. And he still found a way to basically be like nothing, one of the best like teams. Blue moon <laughs> to be one of the best teams in college basketball again. Right? Like so I, I think 
the one issue I have with the way that we rate I, I coach agree. of the year. I know what you're going to say. It's, it's just, it's like, so the guys that didn't do a good job putting together a team in the off season right. and, and outperform it, right. um, always get more credit than the guys that did a great job putting together their team and live up to expectations. Yes. That's yes. my only issue. And, you know, Cal hasn't lived up to, to what we thought they were going to be. There's other guys, you know, John Shire hasn't necessarily lived up to it, but I mean, Selvin's Gilbert been, Davis hasn't lived up to it. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of them. So, so like Kelvin's done it. You, Mark, like uh, to me, self with all the bad breaks that they've gotten, yeah. everything that's going on with that team, and the fact that the pieces don't really fit. You know, another one who's overachieved a little bit, what had until this past week was Tommy Lloyd at Arizona. Right, done a really good job. Yeah, they got found out. They got found out. Um, two, two two bigs, two traditional bigs, hard. Hard to win with two bigs that can't really guard at all on the perimeter, that, that can't switch. Yes. I mean, that's the biggest issue. They're not going to be very good defensively. Right. And teams have kind of – I got to – you want a stat? I got a stat for you. Go ahead. Heading into the Arizona State game five games ago, they led the nation in offensive two-point field goal percentage, right? Four of their last five games, they have been under 40% from the floor. That's the issue right there. They went from being the best offense in college basketball to being a team that has been able to be figured out because they have two bigs that don't shoot it and their guards just like it's one thing to have two bigs that don't shoot it and you got Ben Matherin and Dale and Terry. Right. It's another thing to have two bigs that don't shoot it and you got like Courtney Ramey and Pella Larson who haven't quite lived up to expectations. So to me, that's the biggest issue. Listen, 